Welcome as we go through this exciting journey in additional mathematics. My name is Nana Yawedu and you can call me Say Nana. Remember to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you can get all the videos on time. We are going to look at functions and we want to consider how functions is real and important in our daily lives. Now, let's consider this picture. Basically, when you look at this picture, we are seeing a right hailing app, right? So, we travel all the time. Probably, let's use Shazi as an example. So, you are traveling and then you want to pick a right hailing app, right? So, this right hailing app works on our distance. So, the distance that we are moving towards, right? So, let's imagine that we are moving from one distance A to another distance B. That is 10 kilometers so we represent the distance with d and then the price we pay right so we might probably be paying an amount of money let's say 10 ghana cd for one kilometer that we move so we can model this on a function so we can see that the function f of d which is equal to p represents a very simple way of being able to price the amount of money you pay based on the distance you move right we can also even include other elements like traffic and like the type of vehicle you want to pick but then let's use this simple function so this is basically a function and this function models the d which represents the distance so for instance if you are moving a distance of 12 kilometers right you have to pay a certain price so if one kilometer is 10 then 12 we are going to pay 120 ghana cities so in our traveling in and out we use functions which is being modeled to be able to help us to be able to pay the right price right now let's consider this as well let's assume that you own a vehicle probably in the next five or ten years you have your bmw you go to the filling station you want to fill your fuel right the fuel you fill can be modeled based on probably the gallons so the number of gallons you fill the number of gallons would depend the amount of money which is in terms of price the amount of money you have right so if you want to fill 10 gallons we can model the function as probably f of x is equal to y where the x represents the 10 gallons the number of gallons right and then the y will represent the price so this function is based on probably the the fuel you fill the number of gallons and the price you pay so we are seeing that functions looks at every little thing that we do around us in our daily lives now let's consider this construction so as an architect or a future architect or an engineer when you create a very beautiful edifice like this where we have a curve moving upwards a model a function that we can say f of x is equal to a s squared plus b x plus c i believe you've seen this function this is basically a quadratic function right and we know that for quadratic functions if the a column is negative or a is less than zero then we'll have a function that looks like this bridge right but if a is greater than zero then we'll have the function moving the other way around right so this models a quadratic function so even before the engineer will go out to construct the bridge he might have modeled it mathematically using functions and being able to look at the dimensions before he does that so we see function in so many things that we do when we cook the ingredients that we use the proportions can be modeled using functions and so many other examples now let's look at the definition for function so basically when we look at function we can consider these two things right so let's say a function which is a which has a domain of a b and c right and we have a function b another one b right which moves to let's say x y and z provided a maps to x 
maps to y and c maps to z then we say that this is indeed a function right so a function maps members of the domain right to exactly one member in the code domain and those members that are mapped are basically known as the range of the function so for the definition we say a function f from set a to set b could be defined as the pairing as we said pairing of element a with element b in such a way that each element in a is paired with exactly one right exactly one element in b right we can also define it as a rule or a relation between a and b that assigns each element which is a in a to a unique element b in b so we have a which is in a here right to a unique element which is in in this case is s which is in b right so let's look at an example so for instance i have these members of the domain which are two i have one i have zero i have negative one i have negative two right and i have a function f of x that square these members right so these are a but the function squares the members so it means that in my code domain here two would be squared we have four one would be squared we have one zero squared is zero negative one squared is already here one and negative two squared is already here right which is four i could probably as well have nine and then we know that two would map to the four here the one here would map to one right the zero will map to zero we have negative one mapping to one here and then we have negative two mapping to four here so if you would want to write these as pairs we have two going with four right we have one going with one we have zero going with zero we have negative one going with one and we have negative two going with four so this is a function right so and the function is here and it's also represented in the mapping this way but we see that every element or each element in the domain here maps to exactly one element in the code domain so you have two its code domain is four right right and you have one its code domain is one one doesn't have a code domain of one and also have a code domain of zero so for instance when you have a right alien app or you pick a right hailing app whichever way and you are going a distance of 12 kilometers the amount of money you are going to pay will be fixed you have to pay probably 50 ghana cities so 50 ghana cities is what you pay right so that it prevents cheating you are not going to be cheated to pay more amount of money unless you want to tip the person so one element in the domain which is a kilometers maps to only one element in the core domain so this is a definition of a function right in our next lesson we want to consider how we can test for functions basically the graphical test for functions so if you have a function that is in a graphical form we want to look at how we can test for it remember to like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next lesson